Well, it's a great trail to walk no matter the weather. The Centennial Trail covers miles in Washington and Idaho. In this week's Air Force Adventure, we are checking out the Idaho side of the trail. It starts on the state border all the way to Higgins Point at the end of Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive. We'll take you for a ride on the Air Force drone. Spokane River Centennial Trail is Eastern Washington's recreational trail backbone. It runs from the Washington-Idaho border all the way up to Nine Mile Falls at the Nine Mile Falls Recreation Area. It's 39.2 miles in Washington. It also, from the state line, heads out all the way through Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene and ends at Higgins Point, 24 miles in North Idaho. So altogether over 60 miles of recreational trail for this region. The Washington-Idaho state line is a beautiful uh, renovated rail trail bridge that marks the two-state trail connection. Um, as you head into the valley area, what you have is really wide open spaces. As we come in along Upriver Drive, is more of an urban recreation trail. A number of recreational trails will spur into the Centennial Trail over time. Across the river from where we're standing here on Bridge Avenue, mile 23, um, just uh, east of Kendall Yards, we'll see the South Gorge Trail come online and make a wonderful loop between Post Street Bridge and the Sandifer Bridge in the west edge of Kendall Yards. Local residents use the trail in different ways. It's also really becoming an important way to commute to and from work and get folks out of vehicles. Friends of the Centennial Trail are the community advocacy voice for the maintenance, the completion, the wayfinding, and the use of the trail. So we're here to take your feedback and share it with state parks and our Centennial Trail Coordinating uh, Council. Um, again, the more that, that use it, the better it will be. But again, we just ask that the, the community understand what a beautiful recreational resource we have, support it and celebrate it and enjoy it.